control. We are typing clearance for shuttle launch. Initiate Stanford protocol. Clear procedures. Check. Man, what an intro. Oh, and there's the shuttle. Shuttle EMV Sharon is now docked. Sharon. Sector 1, empowered and pressurized. Is Ozzy here? Oh. Mushy decontamination protocol online. Disembarkation authorized. Well. Message to crew members. Welcome on board the Tycoon. Property of Dolus Aerospace Engineering Corporation. You will soon be given your assignments, but until then, please continue to wait near the docking bay. We hope you have a productive voyage, and would like to thank you for your contribution towards humanity's future. Endless profits. Administrator, I am Eden, the personal assistant installed on board the Tycoon. Well, hello, ma'am. In accordance with the Munchie Protocol, I have been designed to take into consideration your complete psychological profile so that I may more accurately respond to any needs you may have. My primary purpose is to ensure the Tycoon's automated systems function efficiently. I will keep track of the tasks that are necessary for you to fulfill your prerogative of reaching Proxima Centauri and carrying out field research, mining operations, Manufacturing protocols and Dolos colonization tests. Wow, you got quite a quite a job, ma'am. Is he eating? The administrator. I wanted to introduce you to your first tasks personally. Oh, he's eating for I'm sure. I'm Dolos' cryonics lead, Marduk Council member Giovanni Batista. What are you eating, bro? What is it? So, let's see. Your first objective will be to begin setting up essential infrastructure aboard the Tycoon. Okay. Meeting the environmental conditions that are required to support your crew. Having laid these foundations, you will then oversee the installation of the Vol engine and perform a short test jump to Proxima Centauri. Upon arrival, your research teams will carry out a brief survey of local space, gather a few rock and coal dust samples, Fire up the colonization protocol. Begin building the foundations for mankind's future. Yada, yada, yada. And then, 
you'll come back. Now, okay. in order to achieve this, you'll need to familiarize yourself with the Tycoon's core functions. It's no big deal. There's the production, stockpiling and distribution of resources, construction, balancing of power output with allocation. Oh, and space exploration, you know, setting out expeditions and all that. Basically, everything needed to establish scientific advancement and harmonious autonomy on board the Tycoon following the first test of its Vol engine. Eden's gonna display and keep track of your main objectives. Oh, and Administrator, don't let the position go to your head. Veneer has insisted to center Dolos' focus on the Tycoon, but this mission is just in preparation for our next project, the Protagoras. The Marduk Council worked damn hard to pull this mission together ahead of schedule. So, toe the line, do as you're told, and bring the Tycoon back in one piece. Leave the grand gestures and saving of mankind from ecosystemic destruction to us, okay? One last word of advice. We don't all think like Veneer Dolos. As of yet, no human law has been officially established amongst the stars. That sounds like an opportunity knocking to me. Thank you, sir. End of discussion. Woo. Well, let's take a look outside, shall we? Oh, yeah, baby. Nice. Well, hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome aboard. Uh, this game is similar to, uh, well, Frostpunk, as they say. And man, oh man, is there a lot to do here. We got to build stuff inside and outside, and we can even uh, plot expeditions, similar to how it is in Frostpunk as well. You know, sending out uh, people to go visit some of these locations, such as the Mon Neptune Mares and something called the Soon. Soon we will be there, I suppose. <laughs> well, let's jump back inside. Yes, of course, the Sun, Mars, and many other locations to explore. And tons of supplies just laying around at random. That's uh, pretty disorganized. Let's go ahead and build a workshop then. Um, allows for the construction of other buildings inside the Tycoon, sending a construction mech to a construction site, okay? So it's like our builder's guild, okay? Um, well, I'm assuming if we can build stuff near the edges of the map, we better build, like, stuff here towards the, uh, entryway instead. So let's go ahead and connect this with a road. Now let's get a close look at things. Oh, it looks pretty good. Love the sound effects, love the music, and, uh, love how the buildings appear, too. Let's go ahead and take a little closer look at things. Looking nice. Looks like these people walk along these little roadways here. And I assume these supply piles we can probably gather from when it goes to build stuff. We now need to build a stockpile. All right. A small stockpile. Um, where could we build that? Looks like a lot of this area is clogged. I guess we could build over here since it's a little crowded there. These seem like they're going to be quite important, so let's build a couple of them maybe since it's where we're going to store resources. All right. That seems good with me. All right, let's go ahead and watch how things get transported over there. Uh, looks like they need 10 people. Oh, they need alloy. Okay. Uh, but that's not going to work. Oh, wait, they're actually building one already. Ah, I see. We now just... Oh, that was quick. We just need to stockpile alloy. Ah, there we go. Looks like we can do the same with uh, what appears to be food. And then also, I think I saw mechanical parts somewhere. Yeah, right here. I can't... Oh, polymer. Okay. Looked like a gear, but yeah, you get it. All right, well, let's go ahead and continue to have all that stuff stored. We need to stockpile 40 alloy. And the second one is being constructed now. We're probably going to need way more of these, maybe one per type of uh, material, maybe? At, at minimum. Looks like they can hold a total of 100. And they can only hold one resource type. All right. Interesting. So on the outside of the ship, it looks like we can build stuff as well. They talked about something called the Vol, but I assume we could also build things like maybe solar panels and maybe gun turrets or something. We have hull integrity to worry about. We also need to worry about trust, and there's our power output too. 19, uh, 22 now is what we're consuming out of a starting 60. Damn, this looks awesome, man. Really cool uh, vehicle here with lots of thrusters and whatnot. Creating artificial gravity by re uh, rotating around the center there, around the ring. Very nice. All right, uh, let's see. Collect alloy, 20 out of 40. Let's go ahead and give the order to collect more. 
Ah, oh, there we go. Just click on those. Looks like we also need to connect some to the roadways, but... Let's go ahead and store a lot of this stuff. Get it out of the way so we can actually use it for building. Looks like we'll need to connect these roadways to all of these to collect it and then delete it later. Collect that stuff, too. Oh, incoming transmission. Administrator, I have established a connection with Dolus' lead data scientist, Emma Klein. Okay. Administrator, Mr. Dolos has made it abundantly clear when it comes to security. Given the importance of the tycoon, we must have full control over what is happening inside the station. My name is Emma Klein, Dolos' lead data scientist and member of the Marduk Council. My department have just completed final synchronization between Eden and our data treatment tool, the DLS. The DLS, or data listening system, is capable of scanning, recording, and parsing exchanges of any kind. The DLS programming that is a part of Eden will filter all data collected and bring to your attention only the most relevant information. It will also provide you with a condensed overview of any situations that may arise and formulate potential future outcomes. It will permit you to give direct orders without having to go through additional unnecessary paperwork. Eden will then take care of everything via their DLS accreditation. As is often the case with tools produced by my department, I think you'll find that once you start using the DLS, you'll never be able to do without it. Oh, and before I let you go ahead and start writing history, Dr. Munshi, our lead medical expert, wanted me to bring to your attention a possible side effect of vol jumping. Uh -oh. There is a correlation between prolonged space travel and the development of early onset dementia. He wow. believes that a vol jump has the potential to accelerate this process, although this is yet to be proven. His recommendation is for you to immediately send any crew members that are exhibiting uncharacteristic or symptomatic behavior to an infirmary, as these facilities are equipped to treat the mind as well as the body. Remember that all of your actions and choices are being reported by Eden. We are not affiliated with any national or even international organization. The only people that you are answerable to are those of us who sit on the Marduk Council, who represent the collective interests and ambitions of the company. The shareholders. Of course, ma'am. Of course. All right, so she mentioned building an infirmary. Uh, build a communal dining. Oh, uh, resolve the event. Uh-oh. Ah, here we go. Some Frostpunk-like events. Uh, impending crisis due to influx of hungry crew. Uh, they want us to build a refectory for distributing rations. Oh, like a canteen. Sure. All right, we can do that. So the data listening protocol is basically like a crew concern mitigation, I guess. All right, let's build that here. And let's store polymer here. We've also started to store food, so I guess... Food can be brought here and then brought to the canteen. Excellent. Let's also make sure we gather that polymer. So it looks like that's all we've got is alloy, polymer, and food so far. So we're going to have to somehow import more goods. Uh, I don't want to build too many stockpiles, though, because using materials and space just to store stuff seems like a waste of, well, space and materials. Uh, let's see, 90, 40. Oh, there's five there. Oh, it's going down. Okay. Looks like there's a ton of stuff there. They just dumped stuff all over the space station? They, they were in a hurry. All right, there's the little uh, forklifts or skid steers, I guess, that bring things around. All right, that building is almost complete. Good. Looks like there's a technology tree. We can't view that yet. Data listening system is like our questing. Resource management, uh, management that must be for maybe some sort of uh, external resource management. Maybe ways where we can bring things to the station from external sources. Ah, and it looks like we're stocking up the refectory right now. Excellent. Uh, feed 200 crew members. Oh, well, that'll just take time then. Uh, storing 8 out of 10. Oh, incoming transmission. Administrator, I have an incoming transmission from Marduk Council Member Henry Bargeville. Uh oh. I'll patch him through. For you, Administrator. Bonjour. What a wonderful day to embrace your fate, don't you think? I'm Henri Bargeville, writer, philosopher, lobbyist, but most of all member of the Marduk Council. Yeah, I have yeah, taken yes. the liberty of personally arranging an exchange out of courtesy with the Oshanabi, 
a ship in high orbit belonging to one of our commercial allies, the Ashtangites. Even so, they are a small organization. The Ashtangites are important partners who share the same pragmatic, moralistic, and spiritual outlook as we do. The Ushanabi will provide us with a source of food while carrying out the Tycoon's initial testing. By making it the first exclusive trade partner of the Tycoon, we will demonstrate to our long-term allies that Dolos wishes for them to share in our successes. Please assign a cargo ship so that we can check the trade routines. Administrator, trust in genetic connectors. Self-similar space will reveal the pattern. Build a cargo ship? Uh, space exploration, end of discussion. Uh, construct a cargo ship and a science ship from the docking bay. Ah, we can build mining ships, cargo ships, and science ships. And there's three different docking platforms attached to our docking bay, okay? Called Columbo. All right, uh, cargo ship, science ship. Ah, so now we're going to transport cargo to and from the space station, probably from Earth, right down Meow. How does Earth look, by the way? It's the year 20... What was it again? I forgot the cutscene. Earth looking okay. I, I don't see anything uh, really unusual. Florida, Cuba, Mexico, all looking good. South America just hanging out. Okay. Everybody just chilling. All right, let's get more of these materials out of the way. I've been trying to be reluctant, but it looks like we're going to have to do it. Uh, some crew members have no quarters to live in. Oh, absolutely. We should probably provide housing for our workers, not because we care about them, but because giving them a place to stay would make them more well-rested, and that would benefit our profits in the long run. Excellent. Let's maximize profitability. There we go. I'll build that next to the uh, little cantina down here. It's got to go somewhere. Uh, we need to house 84. Each of those holds 15. Okay, we're going to need a few more. And it looks like the ships are being built. Oh, nice. Yeah, the ship bay is actually constructing a ship. Very cool. There we go. I want to have all that stuff uh, packed up, ready to roll out. How many materials does that take? 15 to build the crew quarters. Looks like they gave us a lot of roads to start with, too. And I think we can readjust those roads as needed. We're probably going to get more crew members, too, so we may as well just go ahead and uh, build more. Pretty likely that we're going to run out of uh, run out of crew members soon. Okay, configure the cargo ship to retrieve food from the fleet management window. Uh, D, go on a Wendy's run. Going to go get some drive through We're getting some Uber Eats. Oh, can we actually see the uh, ship leaving then? We might be able to see it go to Earth to go pick up food and come back. All right, we need to go deal with something at the moon event. Oh, there it is. It's going back and forth from Urshanabi, which could be another station of some sort. Oh, it's a supply depot. Okay. Nice. So we can continuously collect food. Moon. Uh, the base is out of commission. Auxiliary systems are operational, may be used to restore power. There is an average probability of finding resources waiting for science ship. Okay, so we got to send a science ship there. Did we build one? Um, I don't see any science ships just yet. Oh, here, the Calypso. It is a science ship right there. All right, Calypso, time to go to the moon. Awesome. Wait for him to arrive. Oh boy. Uh, the base is out of commission. Auxiliary systems are operational. Restore power. There's band and depressurized. The video uh, surveillance system is still functional. Dismantle the camp will give us materials and science or just science. Uh, let's try to dismantle the camp. Looks like it'll take a little bit of time too. It's not immediate, so all right. Okay, back to, uh, back to building. Uh, looks like storage is full again. Gonna build a few more of those just to uh, house everybody. Did we get everyone housed? Not yet. We need to finish this, so I guess we'll build a little road out front. There we go. 
We'll have to redo these roads as soon as everything's clear. And we're going to have to start importing polymer shortly, too. Build a road there. And a road here. That should connect to the remaining uh, resources. All right, let's go back to the moon. Oh, almost done. The Urshanabi has almost uh, brought stuff back. Oh, there's a quest at Mars and Saturn. Dark side of Saturn. A signature has been detected. And Mars... There's a facility on Mars lacking resources required to repair critical fault in, engine, in uh, oxygen supply system. Oh. So it looks like we can do a lot of uh, different quests. Maybe another science ship would help? Although they haven't told us to build one, so we better we better do what they say, because it could end up rough. All right, we got 75 out of 79 people housed. Uh, we'll clear that space on the left side. Uh, we're kind of out of storage space, aren't we? Uh, let's see. Well, I guess we can stack some more houses up this way. But they need to connect to a road. So I guess we'll build one back there. Behind the canteen. Alright, authorize all those materials to be picked up and moved out of the way. There's a hundred food sitting there too, so we got lots and lots of food. Maybe we should make some more storage for food. That seems to be something we don't ever want to run out of. Build another storage area there. And let's also put another one. Having trouble getting all this stuff out of the way here. Okay, good. Let's go back to the moon. Hey! Mission complete. Excellent. We found 30 metal and 40 science. Excellent. Very good. Oh, incoming transmission. Administrator, I have an incoming transmission from Dolus's head of medicine, Dr. Abhinav Munchi. Uh, put Dr. Munchies through. Does he have snacks? Greetings, Administrator. I'm Dr. Abhinav Munchi, Dolus expert in compartmentalism and medicine and a member of the Marduk Council. I'm glad to finally meet you, even in this digital manner. Your psychological test results were quite impressive. My friend and colleague, Philip Stanford, couldn't be here today. Ooh. So I will take the role of introducing you to the final stages of the Vol engine integration. Ah, Before we get change. into that, however, we would like you to complete the testing station's exploration and enhancement capabilities. You'll then be able to begin researching the EVA airlock and assess its compatibility with the Tycoon's core systems. I hope that the work of our team will ensure that you are equipped to deal with most situations you encounter up there. Before I leave you, Stanford would like me to remind you that space is a far less fanciful and forgiving environment than science fiction would have us believe. It would be wise to remember that. Science ship has arrived at destination. Okay, we got new objectives from the doctor. Mars event, uh, re repair oxygen supply in exchange for research data. Um, okay. Ship has not been assigned. Cargo ship. Oh, we'll need another uh, ship then. Oh, it automatically does it. Oh, that's wonderful. Fantastic, no extra setup. We can just pass it on and then it'll be done. Ship is on the way, good. All right. Oh, and the cargo ship's being loaded up. That's awesome. Check that out. So the cargo ship actually lands and is loaded and then is sent out. All right, we're going to have to make something called the EDA and the Tech Lab. We're getting low on power, though. 45 out of 60. We're going to need to be cautious about that. But there's our Tech Lab. Ooh, that is a, that is a massive structure. Uh, where can we fit this? Right here is a good spot. I want to try to maximize our use of space. Or after you're in space. Oh, yeah. Um, boy, I hate to build it up against anything. But I guess this is as good a spot as any. 
Hopefully there's something we can fit in that 2x2 two two area. That thing takes 75. All right, getting things organized. All right, building the tech lab. Almost done. There goes the construction. It's amazing that we're building buildings within this giant building, isn't it? Essentially. I feel like the space station is kind of more of a, a building than it is the ship itself, although it's capable of trans uh, movement, I guess, transportation or uh, hyperdrive or something like that. A science ship team has completed a task. That's great, ma'am. Let's go back and check it out. Excellent. We found 60 research. Good. Looks like they were able to successfully help them out. Good. All right. Let's also send our Calypso to Saturn. All right. They're on their way to Saturn now. Supply ship's on its way back here. And will bring us more food shortly. All right. Good. The road is clear. Well, I, did, I wanted to try to not uh, build as much of the uh, storage, but looks like we did pretty okay. All right, let's straighten out these roads a little bit. Get some more things organized. All right, now we need to start on our research tree. Whoa, that is an awfully big tree. That is a research universe. Nuclear power plant, waste treatment, algae farm, fire departments, observatories, exo fighting dome, health center, question marks, question mark, question mark, question mark. Ooh, there's a hell of a lot of stuff we can do in this demo. All right, EVA airlock. Repairs the hull and can construct exterior structures. Oh, we're going to definitely need to make, we're going to need to build like a power plant or something out there. We're at 57 out of 60. Anything else we build and we're, we're dead. Don't want to build anything else then. Roadway construction's all right. All right, did we get to Saturn? There we are. All right, send a team to investigate, attempt to locate the debris in orbit. Uh, let's go ahead and send a team to investigate. Good. Very good. Doing a lot of good things in the universe. All right. We got other stuff up here. Silicon electronics, hydrogen, ice, food. Oh, ice is good. That's probably going to be for water, right? It'd be transformed into water by a water station. Okay. So we store water in the form of ice, I guess. Maybe it's easier to store it in ice blocks in a uh, freezer than it is to have a giant water tank. Oh, man. There's lots of tutorials for this game. Camera controls. I've been doing okay so far. I mean, we will die. It's a raptor video after all. You weren't expecting anything more, were you? All right, research is at almost 75%. Do these consume power? They do, three. And these do not. And we have housing now for... Oh, it doesn't even say how many people are inside the houses. Oh yes, it does. Habitation, 15 out of 15. Lots of pounding going on down there. Geez, keep it down, kids. It sounds like when you live in an apartment building. We've all been there before. Neighbor drops a spoon, and it sounds like uh, the world is falling. Okay. Let's go back and check on Saturn. They're about halfway done. Okay. Research complete. Hey, we did it. All right, now we need to build an EVA airlock. Where can we build that? Structure. Oh, oh that's going to take 12 power. That's going to kill our power. Um, oh, we can build it down here. Looks like there's also little conveyor belts going to other sections, so I think we can build all within this area, not just that tiny area. I think we can build within the entire ring and that these bulkheads just separate the uh, other sectors, yeah. So you can have a manufacturing wing, a storage wing, a science wing, whatever. All right, let's build the EVA airlock. Um, I guess this is a good spot. 
Yeah, maybe up here. Unfortunately, that's going to kill our power, but uh, I guess we can uh, work on building some external structures, too. Is there a way to turn things off? There is. So let's go ahead and turn off these other ones. We need at least 12 extra power. I'll turn off the science center for now as well. And we need to build that roadway there. Oh, did I not... Um, must have missed a little piece there. I uh, should be able to build that whole thing. A robot seems stunlocked. Um, there's a robot parked where he should be building. Ah, there we go. Just like a little glitch, I guess. That's weird. Let's build this section one at a time. Maybe the robot will come back and behave now. Let's go back to Saturn. Oh, the galaxy looks beautiful. Or at least uh, the orbit around our sun. Maybe we'll be able to leave the galaxy. Well, of course we will. Hey, we found 40 science. Excellent. Okay, nothing else going on there. Oh, it looks like we have to pick up the science, too. That's kind of cool. Uploading data. Um, you know what? I'm going to build a temporary road here. There seems to be some sort of problem with building this road for some reason. But everything seems connected. Uh, food being brought out. Uh, we should have all of our... Oh, do we not have metal? No. Oh, looks like he's stunlocked again with the roadway. I don't know what his problem is. Anyway, things are getting delivered, so that's good. Okay, the EVA airlock. High priority construction. We didn't set it to that, but it's the only thing really being built, so we're good. Anything else? Nope, oh, okay. We'll leave our science ship there for now. Anything else we can research? Uh, let's see. Probe launcher, docking bay. Oh, the only other thing we can get is the probe launcher, so we may as well try that. Science center will remain off though until we're done. Okay, now we gotta build the big boy. We need our builder bot to smarten up. And now we should be building this building. Yep. That's going to take a while. Let's speed up. All right, things are looking good. Excellent. Construct the Vol engine via the construction panel in the exterior view. Is this going to cost us power? Allows the Tycoon to traverse self-similar space in order to reach far-flung destinations. Hmm. Oh, we can build uh, solar panels here. Uh-oh, I don't know if we can afford some of these. Let's start with at least a cheap one. Hopefully we can order a delivery of polymer. And then next we'll construct the vol. Looks like we can only do one at a time. But the ship is loading up with what it needs. Okay. Let's make some more deliveries. 
I would like a delivery of food and polymer, please. Looks like we have 50, so we're not going to use it all. That's good. Now, can we see the solar panel being constructed? Oh. Yep, looks like uh, whoever's doing that, that's as close as we can get. But they are building the solar panels. Giving us an extra... Ah, perfect. Total of 85 power. All right, let's build the vol now. Woo! Gonna get a big O engine there, boys. That's a Hemi. Okay. Oh, and there comes all the supply. Excellent. Let's check for more science. Something going on at Mars. Oh, we didn't fully uh, pick up all the science from Mars, did we? All right, we'll go pick that up. That's cool. 54 remaining. All right, now we got 85 power to spare. Let's go ahead and uh, do that. Now, I think they said we're going to launch a probe when we get to our destination. So once this engine is built, we're going to uh, basically launch and then go to where we need to go and then launch a probe and then come back to Earth. So I don't know how far we're going. Hopefully it's not too long of a drive. Whoa, look at this thing get constructed. That is badass. Wow. Look at that, man. Oh, man. Oh, new phone, who dis? Administrator, the different phases of preparation, calibration, and verification for success has arrived at destination. You must now start the full bonding procedure. Uh, the bonding Dolo's process? protocols now deem you competent to gather resources, knowledge, and test colonization routines once you reach Proxima Centauri. Before you do so, Vanir Dolos, Marduk Council Founder and Dolos CEO, wants to talk to you. Wait, there's a different event. Uh, request additional staff from the Urshanabi, working a few more hours. Okay, let's re request additional staff. people is that people uh, put him through man hello administrator I'm glad to see that you have managed to complete your assignments and preparation for this unique moment in history you must understand that this is not simply another chapter in humanity's story the book of our life on earth is over and we stand now at its epilogue it saddens me to think that there are many who have yet to comprehend the reality of our situation. We've endured endless cycles of war, crisis, and famine. Still, the worst is yet to come. There are others like Dolos who have prepared for this outcome, but most of our kind remain sheltered from the horror of the predicament we find ourselves in. This pale ghost of civilization will wither and die, and with it, the tenets and values of the past. As we prepare to leave this system for the first time, perhaps we must decide which fragments we will pick up and take forward with us. Through Dolos, I am offering mankind an alternative means of survival. The Tycoon is a tablet upon which we will carve our new history. Do you recognize why I have done all of this? NFTs. Having foreseen our fate, I became fixated on altering it. Oh. I set about fashioning the ropes and tying the knots that would bind together this magnificent ship. It is true that our time in this world is brief, but at least I can rest assured knowing that my legacy will endure for eons. Farewell, Administrator. For the few who stand in the light and the many who dwell in the dark, you carry the fate of us all. That guy should be a YouTuber. He just likes to talk on and on and on. All right, whatever quest we had to do for, uh, I guess, getting more additional workers has disappeared. So I guess now time to move the tycoon to the orbit of the moon. Okay. How, we, uh, how do we start up the whip? Is that like a keyhole or something? Okay, uh, let's see. So let's move to... Put the Vol engine to the moon. 
Initiate tycoon movement. Yes. Oh, cool. You can actually see the moon too? That's awesome. Goodbye, Earth. Oh, wow. And we're here. <laughs> that was cool. Damn, what a smooth game. What is this up here? Current power consumption. Oh, yeah, we're at max. Well, we are in the moon's orbit, man. Phenomenal. We're here. Very nice. Initiate a vol jump between uh, via the button planetary system map. Oh boy. Oh, call. Administrator, because of your continued successful management of the tycoon, Dolos have authorized the dispatch of new crew members and food supplies. Please ensure that they have suitable accommodation once you reach Proxima Centauri. Uh, yes, ma'am. Um, more housing. Docking bay, probe launcher. I don't know if we're going to need to build any of this stuff, but she just tipped us off about additional people coming to live here, so let's maybe build a couple more of these. All right, somehow I managed to end up uh, charging the engines. I don't know how, but anyway, let's check out uh, how full we are. Looks like we're about 75% charged on the Vol engine again for launch. Apparently when this happens, it cuts all the power from the station, and so all power is diverted to the Vol engines. Vol engine ready. All right, let's begin the launch. Here we go. Earth, our home, she is unique. Held in its bosom are the ingredients of evolution. Beyond raw survival, beyond the safety of comfort, we, humanity, pursue something greater. We have learnt, persevered, shaped our knowledge from that which is found in the furthest realms of science. However, Humanity has brought destruction to the earth, polluted its blood, choked its breath. Today we are paying the price for this. We know the taste of a dying world. But the earth is not to be our grave. A mother does not wish to see her children disappear with her. She wishes to see instead courage in her children to carry on. Dolos carries this courage. We have gone further than any nation, moved faster than any corporation, hand in hand with those who, like us, carry that courage. The Tycoon Station is both an epilogue of these endeavors and a prologue to humanity's next steps. Our Council of Scientists leads the vanguard. They know, as do we all, that the survival of humanity now depends on what we glimpse out there dark, that we are masters of our own destiny, that we must go as a species bound together, pushing further into the unknown. We set sail on this new sea because there is hope to be found, 
horizons to explore, and because our very existence depends on it, I give you the stars. I give you the Vol Engine.